At very low temperatures, familiar objects behave very strangely indeed. Making a tulip brittle by cooling it to minus 200 degrees Celsius in liquid nitrogen is a very good party trick, but it doesn't really have much practical value. However, if you were to cool a coil of a very special wire down to an even lower temperature, just four degrees above absolute zero, then something equally strange, but far more practical happens. It becomes superconducting. And that means that its electrical resistance is reduced to zero. So if you were to start an electric current flowing in the coil, it would continue to circulate forever and never die away. And that's precisely what's going on in this magnetic resonance imaging scanner. Now, magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI to give it its more simple name, is a very clever way of producing diagnostic images of body organs without using ionizing radiation. Now, it's completely safe and it uses radio waves in the presence of a very strong magnetic field. And that magnetic field is produced in an enormous superconducting loop, which is housed within this shielding here. The coil was made using 45 kilometers of wire, which was wound onto a core and lowered into a housing, ready to be built into the finished machine. Once in operation, it's kept constantly cool by a bath of liquid helium. And, as a result, the current the manufacturer started flowing in it when it was installed over four years ago is still circulating undiminished. Now, a current flowing through a coil produces a magnetic field. And this coil has 9,000 pounds of wire and carries a current of 400 amps. So it produces an enormously strong magnetic field of one Tesla. That's about 20,000 times stronger than the Earth's magnetic field. Now, to come in here, I've had to leave everything that I had on that was metal outside because the magnet in there is so strong that it would have wiped all my credit cards and it would have wrenched the keys out of my pocket. Now, just have a look at this. You have to be very careful. This is very strong but flexible wire. But you can see it being drawn into the magnet there. And I wouldn't like to leave go of that because it could cause some serious damage. So what happens to the patient? Well, they lie up here on this couch and the body part to be examined is sent slowly into the coil. Now, the machine scans the patient as a set of slices, a bit like in a loaf of bread, and all the information is sent to a computer for processing. Now, the computer rearranges all this information into an image of the water content of each slice. The shape of the radio frequency coil, which receives the signals from all the water molecules, is optimized according to the part of the body being scanned. This picture shows the kind of coil which is used for scanning someone's head. It's a relatively expensive technique, but the contrast it gives between the various kinds of tissues in the body, including different soft tissues, is superb. It's excellent for revealing fine anatomical detail in normal and abnormal structures, like in this animated series of sections through the head. And how about this? By taking a series of pictures and playing them back in sequence, we can study the movements of organs like the heart, or we can create 3D pictures, like this one of the cerebral arteries in the circle of Willis in the head, and rotate it to have a look from different angles. This machine is impressive enough, but that's not the end of the story. Scientists are continually striving for improvements, and this is one of the latest developments. It's a specialised imager for heads, arms and legs. And as you can see, it's far more compact than the conventional machine, and that makes it a lot cheaper. And it's this kind of machine that is going to make MRI far more widely available. Although MRI is the newest of the imaging technologies, many, many thousands of patients have already benefited from it. But one thing is certain. Greater things are yet to come, as both doctors and scientists use MRI to push back the boundaries of medical imaging, giving earlier diagnosis of mankind's major diseases.